Okay, today we are gonna declutter my lip products. Now the reality is I actually don't have a crazy amount. If you've been following my journey here on YouTube for a few years, I used to have a lot more than I do now. I try to keep it pared down. I've asked most brands to take me off their PR list because it just piled up too much and a lot of them were products I really didn't have any interest in. Now it's more that I'm trying out products at my own pace, finding out if I like them or not, you know, sharing that on my channel because that is what I do, and then either letting things go that aren't my taste or maybe I didn't like, and then keeping things I'm genuinely using. You know, sometimes I'm letting go of things I like just because there are things I like even more. So it's not always that they're a bad product, it's more that it's just something I'm not reaching for, it's not my cup of tea, etc. Okay, disclaimers out of the way. Now I feel like I can breathe and be myself. But yeah, if you are interested in this kind of video, I am decluttering a different part of my collection kind of once a month here on my channel. So I have done a couple of very recent declutters. I can link up in the eye and down below along with my entire declutter playlist from over the years. Wow, I've done a lot of them here and I know a lot of you guys found me through my declutters, which is always so exciting. So I feel like when I do these, it's like old time. All right, let me bring you down. So we are starting off strong here. The sound was messed up. So this first minute was a little weird. So I'm just gonna narrate it really quickly and then I'll kick back and the sound is just fine. So this is kind of my lip collection. I've got glosses, my lipsticks, kind of lip balms and then lip liners. I've really pared it down over the years like I was talking about earlier. The first one was this NYX Candy Slick. It, it was not great. I ended up decluttering it. It smells okay, kind of like old candy but it was just really patchy on the lips and weird so i was glad to get rid of this one one of my absolute favorites this fenty beauty gloss and fussy it's the only one i still have i love the way this smells and it is so pretty on the lips and like super comfortable to wear easily one of my favorites another favorite the dose of colors lip gloss this one's in the shade just my type i used to love messy bun it, it like exploded i had to throw it away but this color is my new favorite anyway and it smells amazing Next, I had this Rimmel Stay Glossy Gloss in Blushing Belgraves, one of my all-time drugstore favorites. It's not sticky, it's thin, it's comfortable, has a slight bit of color to it, and I've just always loved it. And then this Buxom Gloss. I have other Buxom ones too, but this one's in Irish Coffee. I can't wear alone, but I love the way Buxom lip glosses make my lips look plumper and less lined. And then this is the Nabla Cosmetics like glittery gloss in Champagne Supernova. Gorgeous, gorgeous glittery color, but it doesn't feel like chunky. It's really smooth. And so lastly, this is this colored rain one in the shade Jewel. Also really glittery like the Nabla one, but this one's a little bit more pink. And so that one plus the Nabla one are like my two glittery glosses that I love. So let's kick it back to normal sound. Total purse lip gloss, this YSL liquid color balm in the shade number 12. It's one of my favorites. I wear it all of the time. It's just comfortable and lightweight and it makes your lips look healthy. Oh my gosh, I love this. It's expensive. I would buy it again. I just love it. This is one I can't get on with. It's the Lila B. I've been trying it. They're tinted lip oil, but there's something about it that I just don't like. Like it's thicker. I thought it would be more oily and it's just kind of thick and sticky and it is totally different than I thought it would be, so I'm gonna get rid of that. This House Labs one is finally gonna go. I have not liked this. It, it's, it's okay when you first put it on. This is Lady Gaga's line, but it's a little stickier than I like, and the color wears off really weirdly, like within 20 minutes. It's bizarre, so total fail, didn't like, gonna get rid of. I had two shades. I think I'd already gotten rid of the other one. These are my beloved Lancome Lapsolute lip lacquers. I have the shade 216, which is peachier, and then 168. I travel with this red one a lot, this 168. It's kind of like a strawberry because it stains your lips, but it stays comfortable. It's the most unique formula I have ever, ever tried. And if you're wanting a red that's not drying, but it'll actually stay, this is the one for you. I can't explain it. You almost just have to try it, but I love these both. 216 is a little bit peachier. It's kind of more of an everyday stain, but it's really pretty too. And I'll usually put three layers on. I'll put it on, let it kind of, it doesn't really dry, but like let it sit for a second and then put on two more layers. I have two NYX Butter Glosses. I just think these are awesome. I still think they're awesome. From years ago, I have Creme Brulee and Tiramisu. They're just like a low key, comfy gloss. They're not sticky. They add a little bit of color. They smell good. And I just think they're both great. So that was Creme Brulee, whoops. 
This one is tiramisu. They're similar in color, but just different enough that I'm just gonna keep both because frankly, I like them both. I wear them a lot. TBH, I feel like glosses, I definitely wear more than lipstick. So I'm not surprised that I'm keeping a lot of the glosses because it's actually what I reach for most days. So a lot of these, okay, I don't need to keep both of these. These are these L'Oreal like liquid lipsticks. They're one of the few formulas I actually think are good. I'm just not big on liquid lipsticks. So I'm just gonna keep the pinker one. This one is in 440. Um, and then I think, let me swatch this more brown one in 444. Uh, this is just, a, yeah, that's way brown for my taste. So gonna get rid of that, but I'll keep this one. The Hourglass Lip Products, these were sent to me in PR. It's their like Unreal Lip Glosses. I think this is in the shade Canvas. I like this, but again, it's a little sticky. And so I'm kind of torn, but it is pretty on the lips. And this shade is like completely a shade I obviously wear. Most of them are like this. So I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile. This Laura Mercier one is fine. It's in the shade Opal. But you know what? I do think I have a dupe for this, like in the Stay Glossy line. The, there's like a peachy shade that's really similar to this Laura Mercier. So I might keep it to mention a dupe for it, and then after that, probably get rid of it, because I don't think the formula is anything that special when I feel like it's just like the Rimmel. So it'll be a keep to eventually declutter kind of product. This MAC Lip Glass in Purr I've had for a little while now. It's very much a like almost metallic shade. It's the only MAC Lip Gloss I have, and I do think it's kind of unique and it's pretty. It's really pretty on the lips on its own or over something, so I'm gonna keep that one. And then this is something I have loved for a long time. However, you know what? I've had this for a long time, so I don't know how long I've had it. I almost feel like I should put this in my purse and just use it up, so maybe that's what I'll do. I like these uh, lip products, though, because they're like the kind of changes with the heat of your lips, maybe your pH level, I don't know. And so it always looks really nice and pretty in pink. So I think I'm just gonna try to use it up. I would buy that again. However, I do feel like the drugstore has very similar products. So I don't know that I would need to buy the Dior one. All right, moving on to lipsticks. Okay, I think it's time to get rid of these. This is the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Lip in Vitamin B. One of my favorites, A, I don't know if they still sell these. B, this one's super old, so it's just gotta go probably in the trash. Another drugstore lippy I actually really like are from Maybelline. These are their like super stay ones. Um, the only other lip product I'm keeping is this L'Oreal one. I'm definitely keeping the red. This is in Dancer and it is an amazing, again, I'm not big on liquid lips, but this is one of the few I actually like because it actually stays on. And so especially with red lipsticks, I want something to not move. So I'm definitely keeping that. Do I really need both of these? Probably not. So I think I'll keep the L'Oreal, get rid of the uh, Maybelline. Okay, one of my favorite drugstore lipsticks is this Maybelline one in Flush Punch. It's their cream line. And I just think it's nice. It's a really nice everyday kind of creamy nude color. It works with my lips, which is nice. A lot of colors like this can be a little too light. This one is like dead on your lips, but better kind of color for me. So I really, really like that definitely keeping. And one of my favorites, not just at the drugstore, I just mean generally. Generally, it's one of my favorites, regardless of the fact that it happens to be cheaper. So we have a few MAC ones. Y'all know I'm not huge on MAC lipsticks. However, there are a few shades I really like. Probably my favorite favorite is Patisserie. This one lasts through so many declutters because I use it like crazy. It's truly one of my favorites. It's got a little bit of a sheen to it, which is why I like it. I think the Luster line from, from MAC is my favorite. So that is an absolute keep, one of my all-time favorite lipsticks. I also have, yeah, no, Modesty which is the cream sheen line, which is probably my second favorite line. Cause again, it's more hydrating, more comfortable. And I love the color modesty. You guys recommended this to me and this is another favorite. I obviously haven't used it as much as patisserie, but I definitely use this a lot. This one is newer to me and honestly, I haven't really worn it. So I don't want to get rid of it yet. I figure it's more of a fall color. I bought it because the Anna Edit here on YouTube loves it. It's the color Yash and it's part of their matte line, which I don't love, but I do feel like 
it's not as drying as like their retro matte, so it's okay. And I just feel like it's such a pretty fall color. So I wanna keep it, see if I use it in the fall. If I don't, then maybe it is time to pass it on. By the way, if you're wondering where my little slippy dippies are from, they're the Snoozies brand. I got them in a random store, but you can buy them online and they're like around $10 and they have, oh, millions of different patterns and they're so comfortable and you can just machine wash and dry them. I've already done it once and they came out like perfect. So they're my favorite because they're like socks, but thicker and comfy and anyway i just had to mention because i'm going to get questions i know they're awesome you guys are gonna love them all right i've got this nars lipstick i love 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 their audacious lipstick line they have their classic lipstick line too and i don't think it's anywhere near as good as their audacious line this one is in the shade Raquel. I love it. I could totally see myself buying another shade from this line eventually. I just don't really need any. But I mean, this is one of those lipsticks that is so stellar when it comes to comfort, the color pigment, the moisturization, but it actually still stays in place. Like it is an incredible, incredible line. If you were gonna splurge on a lipstick, this is easily my probably top favorite formula so this is a formula i liked initially but the more i've worn it i don't know so this shade i know i'm gonna get rid of vision i don't know that i've ever really worn i've only swatched i think i have a sister that i know would wear this but it's the it cosmetics uh, like pillow line and it's supposed to be like anti-aging i don't know that i see that this is the shade wistful they're just they're nice they look good when you first apply them but i do feel like they don't wear off as well as i'd hoped so let me put this one in the maybe. I don't think they're awful. I just don't find myself reaching for them, you know? This is a favorite, this YSL lipstick in the shade eight. I I love this. It's a very comfortable, I've definitely duped this at the drugstore and I'll share about those in a minute. So I don't feel like you have to spend the money on this line, but sometimes it's just nice to splurge on something really pretty. And I love, love, love this formula. The line is there at Rouge Volupte Shine line. Wow, I am really keeping a lot, but I feel like I've really narrowed down to a lot of favorites. So I don't have a lot that I want to part with, you know? This is a favorite, the Sephora Melting Lip Click in 12. This is one that I keep in my purse a lot. So if I do that video, it's just a comfortable lip product, um, kind of glossy, but has a little bit of color. I have a couple Marc Jacobs lipsticks. By the way, if you were wondering, I did find my red lipstick in Oh Miley. I couldn't find it. It was in the bathroom. I had it downstairs. Uh, when we had people over a long time ago. It's the best red lipstick ever when it comes to the shade. It makes your teeth look white. I wore it on our honeymoon in Paris, so it's really old, but there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it and it doesn't smell weird and I, I can't let it go, y'all. I just, I can't. It's just gonna, I'm gonna have it forever. I have another shade from the Marc Jacobs line and Infamous that I also really like. Again, these are just really creamy lipsticks. It's a really good shade and I love it. I love this line. I do think I've realized over the years though that if you're splurging, I actually like the NARS formula better than the Marc Jacobs. For a while, I thought I liked the Marc Jacobs, but I do think the NARS one is a little bit more, the NARS Audacious specifically, is just a little bit more comfortable to wear, honestly. I'm probably keeping these, I think I have one of these in my purse too, but this is Varnish Rosewood from the L'Oreal colory shine these are similar to that ysl one where i showed you where it's like shiny and comfortable and pretty and low fuss you know so that's varnish rosewood i love i have two from the revlon super lustrous shine line <laughs> this one is in nude illuminator definitely a favorite i wear it all the time these are all definite dupes for the ysl line so don't feel like you have to spend the money like i said this one's in glossed up rose which is what i'm actually wearing on my lips today and i just love them highly recommend any of these i do think the packaging the l'oreal one is prettier but if you'd rather buy revlon versus l'oreal or whatever they're all like truly the same formula this is my wedding lipstick the edward best uh, moisturizing ultra slick lipstick in Rose Demure. It's super old. I'm not going to wear it anymore, I don't think, but it's my wedding lipstick. Like, I can't let go of it. Maybe I'll buy, I know they have, they still sell this. Maybe I'll buy a new one, but I just, it's so good. This is a Pat McGrath lipstick in Realness. This is an amazing formula, I really have to say. Like, you put it on and it stays. It's definitely a little bit more matte, but this is from her. Uh, Lux Trans line, so it's not like matte matte, it's maybe more satin, but really good line, super expensive though. I don't know if I would ever buy another because of the price, unless like I found again, like a perfect red or something, but I, I don't know that I would, but it is very, very good. The Charlotte Tilbury one, I'm still trying out. This is the In Love With Olivia lipstick. 
Honestly, I haven't gotten a lot of use out of it yet, but it does have a more moisturizing feel. So I need to use this more, maybe put it in my purse so I am using it to get my thoughts. I'm working on a Charlotte Tilbury like full face video and this will probably be in it. Then I've got these milk lipsticks. I actually really like these. I feel like I talked about them for a while and then forgot. This one's in OG red, really moisturizing, gorgeous red. Actually, I wonder how this compares to the shade of the Marc Jacobs one I love. Oh my gosh, they're so similar. So that's Marc Jacobs, that's the OG Red from Milk. This one is maybe a little bit less blue toned, but they are so, so even the formula is similar. So, you know, just something to keep in mind, but I'm gonna keep this too because I love it. And I think O'Malley might be getting a little too old to use. Like I said, I think it's okay, but I'd rather, you know, use something not quite so old on my lips. And then this one's in Hype. It's a really pretty kind of purpley color. And I like that. I don't know that I have one that, that pulls this purple and I feel like it's really pretty in the fall. So definitely keeping that. I really like this line of lipsticks. They're comfortable. I am not getting rid of a lot, y'all. This is more just like a lip collection video, I guess. This is just such a unique color, the Milani Bold Matte and I Am Happy. I really like. The formula itself is fine. It's kind of a thinner formula, which I do think is a little more comfortable. But um, it's not, it says it's bold matte. I would not consider this matte. I would consider it more of a satin. But this shade is so unique. It's kind of like a poppy color. And I really, really like that. And I don't have anything like it. So I love, this is like my favorite spring lip color. All right, we're gonna take a TO. I need to go heat up some leftovers for lunch because I'm freaking starving. <laughs> I feel so much better, you guys. So now we're just kind of left with some liners, some like lip uh, balms, etc. Let's do the liners first. I actually wear liners now more than I used to just because I do like a lot more of these like glossy formulas. I feel like lip liner helps look, make them look a little more put together. So when I have the time, I do use them. So I honestly use a lot of these. <laughs> let me see here. So I've got, let me grab by brand. Okay, well, let me just start here. My favorite lip liner ever, color-wise, is the MAC Lip Pencil in Dervish. I don't think that, like, MAC Lip Liner's formula are, like, this extraordinary formula. I really don't think they're that different than Drugstore. But this shade match for my lips is so unbelievable that I end up using this all the time. That's why, like, you can see, compared to a brand new one, I really have used this quite a bit. So this is, like, the most obvious keep. If I kept one lip liner, it'd be this. Now... Red lip liner wise, I have a couple. I think I've decided that this uh, Sephora one, I think this line is really good. I have two. It's their Rouge Gel Lip Liners and I love the shade number three, Nude Rose. They're retractable and then if you wanna shape them, you can get them back to that point. And they're so creamy, but to a certain extent, they're almost too creamy. And so I find myself using this nude one, but the red one is just, so creamy that it's hard to like get it to stay in place. Does that make sense? And so that's why like even though matte can feel a little drier, the lip liner doesn't move and that's what I need. So I think for now I'm gonna keep the nude but I am gonna get rid of the red one. Now I do have two other reds. This MAC one in Cherry is really, really good. That's probably the one I'm gonna keep. However, I do really like the Laura Mercier lip liners. This one is in the shade Crimson. Let me just kind of compare. This one's not quite as punchy. I clearly haven't used it much. So I think I'm gonna get rid of Crimson and keep the MAC Cherry. And then what is this? This Laura Mercier Velour Extreme Matte Lipstick? Did I know I had this? Ooh, that's nice and bright. I don't even think I knew I had this. So the color is Click. It's kind of, again, like a strawberry color. So I am gonna keep that, but that should be with my lipsticks, not in my liners. Okay, I've had this for a while. And I didn't realize how much I liked it until recently. And now I want more shades, but again, I'm holding off. But it's this NARS Satin Lip Pencil in the shade Expiry, and you sharpen it. So just keep that in mind. You do have to have a sharpener, but it is the most comfortable lip product. And I like that since it does come somewhat to a point, you can kind of line your lips with it and then color it in. It's comfortable, it's moisturizing, and this shade is gorgeous. This is one I'm definitely keeping. Okay, back to liners. Um, I have a lot of Laura Mercier ones. Okay, I have two in Plumberry. How did that happen? I'll keep the one I've already used and I will pass on the brand new one to a sister or someone. So Plumberry, by the way, these remind me of MAC lipsticks because they're drier, but they stay really well. So let's compare Plumberry to Chestnut. 
Chestnut I actually bought myself because Hilary Duff, when I did the Hilary Duff tutorial, this is what she used. I just don't have a color like this. So do I really need both? I'm not so sure, but I think I'm gonna keep it for a little while longer. It's still really new to me. I do like the Charlotte Tilbury Super Size Me uh, lip liner. I've used the crap out of it. I need to sharpen it. Really great color to go with a lot of the lipsticks I wear. And I do think this one kind of bridges the gap between the dryness of like the MAC and Laura Mercier ones and the creaminess of the Sephora ones. So I think that's why these are so popular and I really do like them. So again, I could see myself maybe buying another shade of this someday, but I, I just don't need it. MAC Soar, I was wearing the other day and I really liked this shade. Similar to that, but a little bit deeper. And then this Milani So Natural lip liner I really like. Get it at the drugstore again little bit creamier, kind of like the chestnut color. I didn't realize that. And then Vino, I don't have anything like this. So I wanna keep, really what I would typically wear this with would be this thing I'm getting rid of, this healthy lip, because it's a nice purpley color. You know what, I'm not gonna wear that. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, it's even deeper than this. I won't wear it, so I'm gonna pass that on. And then this Wander Beauty lipstick is really cool for travel because it's got a lip liner on one side and then a lip color on the other. It's really smart and this lip color is so pretty. So I'm gonna bring that. I can't wait to like travel for real one day. So I think these are really cool. This is their lip setter duo and it's called On The Mauve. Really pretty. So we got rid of a couple, we're keeping a couple. So looking at my like lip balms and stuff like that. Let me get these out here. I actually use most of these. So I literally was using this earlier today, the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. I have one in pear and one in grapefruit. I love them. I, they're great for the purse. They're clear, but they're just kind of glossy and comfy and they feel good on the lips. They don't dry my lips out. Actually, I'm gonna put some on now because my after eating lunch, my lip color is already like worn off. I don't view them as like a true lip balm in the sense of like, you know, keeping your lips healthy and stuff like that, but I just end up grabbing these all the time. So I'll probably always have one of these in my life and I really do think they are incredible. One of my favorites, this Nivea Blackberry Lip Care, best $3 you could ever spend. It's so easy to apply, it's just comfortable. It smells like exactly like blue Kool-Aid. And honestly, when I would see it swatched, I never really understood, but then when I would put it on, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's just so beautiful. Now this one I bought, it's for the Fresh Sugar in the City lip product. And it's just a little deeper than I think I realized it would be. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but I also have not gotten a lot of use out of it. And I feel like this would be really pretty in the fall with like a really good lip liner. That was my thing is I thought it would be more akin to like the Nivea one, but it really is more of like a lip color. Does that make sense? And so I guess my thing is maybe I need to move this out of my lip thing and move it more because it's actually more similar to these kinds of products. So I'm gonna move that over there. So I'm bringing back this Dior one in because I realize I have these other two products from NARS that are like the same thing. Um, one has a little bit more of a shade and one doesn't, but I love these. I really like them. They do the same thing as this does, and this Dior one really is old. So I'm gonna get rid of the Dior one. I'm gonna keep both of these NARS ones. This, uh, <laughs> this just makes me smile. So it's from the brand Bulgari, and it's a lip balm, and it's actually incredible. I have no idea where you can get it here, but the reason it makes me smile is because when we were on a Mediterranean cruise, all of our luggage was lost. So we literally had nothing. And in the hotel room we were in, they had a couple of toiletries and they had this lip balm and it was the best and it was like the only makeup I had. So it's really good and it brings back really like fun, crazy memories. And so definitely keeping, I will eventually just use this up, but it just makes me happy. This I'm enjoying, it's the Tree Hut Sugar Lips Lip Butter. It's just a nice, again, it kind of reminds me of the, the Laneige stuff. Um, I think it's a little bit better for your lips than the Laneige maybe, at least it feels like it is. And it's a really good one to have in your purse. Sometimes I'll keep this over by like my desk where I work so I can just apply it throughout the day. This I really like. I go through these though, when I buy these, I go through them so fast. I just bought this. It's the Neutrogena Hydra Boost Hydrating Lip Treatment. Not the most sanitary thing in the world, but it's really, really nice on the lips. I, there's a reason I bought more than one of these. And so I like it. I feel like this would be good to keep in your nightstand. This Laura Mercier one, Hydrating Lip Balm. I don't know if this is like a color changing one too. I got this in PR, I'm sure. And so I don't wanna get rid of it because I know I like this kind of thing and I know it was expensive. So I think I'll keep it. And then if I use up one of the NARS ones, that will be like next. I like the Fresh Sugar Lip Treatment. Physician's Formula does make a really 
close dupe to this if you don't want to spend the money I can link below that I mean it is like I don't know what the difference is if you blindfolded me I would not know the difference but I do like this so definitely going to continue using that the Kosa Sport is so nice for just a quick everyday lip balm this is a lip scrub I've only used it once I do like it I still think the Milani I think I finally got rid of them because they were getting old but the Milani like keep it smooth lip polish is really really good too and it smells better but this one doesn't smell bad it's kind of got like a lime scent to it so definitely gonna keep this I like having at least one lip scrub in my life because I do use them from time to time and this is the only one I currently have which is perfect and then the Mac prep and prime again I just don't feel like I've used it very much so I want to kind of see what all the hype is about this is one of those products I feel like I hear a decent amount about saying like it's really nice underneath lipstick and I really have never used it that way yet my maybe pile I'm just gonna get rid of these I always say that I always put them in the maybe to make myself feel better and then I end up getting rid of them anyway. So here is what I'm getting rid of. We've got four lip liners, a um, couple lipsticks, some older products like those are older and then just some I didn't really like or just wasn't using. So definitely felt good to kind of weed through, get these little things out of there I know I'm not using. So let me push these to the side. Let me reorganize what I'm keeping. Okay, so this is kind of the way it's organized. I mean, obviously I know this is not gonna stay super organized, but it's nice to be able to see most of what I have. It's nice to have wet, I wanna keep wanting to say wed through, like weeded through, but we've weeded through all of these that were just kind of clogging it up. Now I'm left with pretty much across the board things I already know I love, I'm actually using. This is a good feeling. It's, I feel like it's reflective of what I actually wear, which is my goal. That's what I want. You so if you enjoy this kind of video, if you're just in the mood and you wanna binge a couple more, I will link them below as I mentioned earlier. I'd love if you subscribe to my channel. I upload three videos a week. I do beauty stuff to cluttering, but I also do home stuff, cooking, lifestyle. It's truly a mix here. I'd love if you joined our happy little corner of the internet by subscribing. And I'd also love to say hey to you on my Instagram. It is at it's Jessica Braun. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.